This is a day-level slicer built in Power BI using no custom visuals, only native features, and no crazy hacks. We start with a button slicer. Now on the slicer, we're going to take the date field from our calendar table, but I want to restrict it to just seven days. So for this, we can use a visual level filter. And we're going to do this with a measure that I've already set up over here. Now, if you then go back to your visual, you select it, open up the filter pane, and then you can just drag and drop the measure over here. So I'm going to say is equal to one applied filter. And now we just have seven buttons left. Then we can go to layout and here we can select single row. Now at the moment only three buttons show, but I want to have seven buttons next to one another. And now we have to make it a little bit prettier. So I'm going to go here to call out values. There we can add a label. And these labels are going to return the day of the month. And I know that you're thinking, yeah, but there is already the date. Um, but I want to split the month name from the number. So I'm going to open up the formatting options for label. And there we can use, again, a measure. So I'm going to go back to the formatting options, call out values, label. And here, that is where we can use a measure, day of month label. Now, let's go back because I want that number to be above the value. And I also want it to be bigger. What about the actual date that shows below it? Well, I don't want to show the full date. So I go to values and then for display units, we change that to custom. Then we can just put in three amps. All right, that's better. Now also important with slices, of course, is to see how does everything look like if we make a selection. So if I select today, then what well, we get a black filling. Here we have the fill color for the selected state. So I click on it. And either I choose here light gray or make this a little bit more transparent. Here for the default state, I go to layout, make sure that we have here top for alignment. And then I can go to values. And from here, we can choose the horizontal alignment, which then also gets applied for the labels. I'm going to go here to the formatting options for the slicer, click on buttons. And here we have fill. And there we can use a background image. So let me select those images. Here's the one for the default state. We have to set the image fit to fit. I'm going to, first of all, get rid of the original borders. And then I'm going to resize it, meaning I'm going to make it less wide. We still have for the buttons, a fill for the selected state, which is black. Now here, I also want to use an image. And also here, it's important that we set it to fit. Make that a little bit more transparent. Now we just have to do it also for the hover state. You see, we have now a nice hover effect as well. 